you've had basically two clubs that have had a big part in your career, Kidderminster and Cheltenham. Uh, Graham Turner is Mr Shrewsbury, isn't he? I can't believe you haven't come across him at certain points before. Oh, yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. I know Graham well and, and John Tariq. Um, he, 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 you know, he's done well at Shrewsbury and then obviously um, did a, a brilliant job at Hereford. He's, you know, keeping them going, managing, doing everything. And, um, you know, he's gone back to Shrewsbury um, and, and he's shown, you know, what, what a good manager he is and... What a good football man he is, and he's and he's doing well with him. You, so you're, you're not surprised they're in the top four. I'm not surprised because they're they're a big club in our league. You know they've got a, they've got a decent budget. They've got some quality players, um, and they've you know, they've, they've they've got a good a good staff. You know they've got a brand new ground. It's, it's a good little it's a good club. You know, um, but I'm more interested in, in us. You know we we go there. That we we know what they're about. Um, yeah, they'll be up there all season, but we've got to just concentrate on ourselves. Albeit with a very different team. You played very well there last year. We did, yes. We should have won the game. Uh, if memory serves, Medi Smack were in the top corner about two seconds after the final whistle. But we had plenty of chances. We played really well. Um, as you said, we should have won the game. Um, tomorrow or Saturday is completely different. You know, we, we go up there. I've got a, I've seen them a couple of, I've seen them once this season. I've got a DVD that I've that Neil and myself have been watching from one of their games recently. Um, you know, they come on, on the back of a 4-0 win, home win against Hereford. Um, it's it's going to be tough. There's no getting away. You know, the fans are up for it at the minute. They're they're getting right behind them. But we've got to go go and show what a, what a good team we are. You know what we're about. You know we've we've got a small we've got to pick ourselves up a little bit from. From from a South a beating at Southampton, but it was you know, no disgrace in that. Uh, we're on a great run in, on our, in the league at the moment, and um, we're in a decent position. We're only a few points behind them, and I think if you'd have offered most people the chance to be whatever, however many five points behind Shrewsbury after 18, 17 games with a game in hand, I think we'd, I think we'd have took it, you know, because they there's no doubt that there's quality within their squad that they're going to be in and around it all season. They've had a longer layoff than you. I imagine both sides are just itching to play. Have they? Have they had a what, week before from? All oh, right, okay. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we we both, as you say, we, we're desperate to play, and, and and from all accounts, I've heard that, 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 that there's you know a great chance of the game going ahead. They've done all they can. The covers have have done the job, and, and hopefully the the, the thaw will will be enough for it to be okay. Uh, having had two weeks of that game, how how do you try and Get the players so that they're uh, rested. Yeah, fine, but not yep. rusty. If that yeah. is an unkind word. Um, it's it's difficult for everybody. You know, I, I just had a phone call off off an ex player of mine about something else about a funeral arrangements for for tomorrow. Um, who plays for Burton and they've they've got they've got the um, the FA centre and they've got an, they've got an, they've got under saw leeting on one of the pitches. So it's it's all right for some, and you know you just have to cope with it. You know, clubs of we're, we're, we're grateful for Siren Sester for, for this place. We've used it a few times. We've been indoors at the, in the gym. We've been indoors at the, at the, at the fitness centre where we've done some spinning. We've done a spinning class and some weights and stuff like that. You've just got to keep them at it. Today we'll, we'll have a little chat now before we start about, about getting, just getting our focus back. You know, it's, you can only kid them so long that, that it's, the game's going to be on and, the game, and, and you miss a game and it's, oh, wow, we, we know. So it's, they're a good bunch. They know that, there's you know a great chance of the game going ahead Saturday, and it is time just to just to we've had a couple of days of work Friday, Monday, Tuesday. We had a day off yesterday. The boys had a day off yesterday. It, it is time just to just think about the game a little bit more and, and have a little bit of um, just just focus on on Shrewsbury and we'll like, we'll do that throughout the session today. But it's you know it's just about our preparation. It's what we normally do, um, and we've just got to re-emphasize that on the, after having such a little bit of a, a bit of a break. Where can you hurt them? Where can we hurt them? Yeah, we've got. Well, I think you can see what we did at Macclesfield. How good we were. I think we played a different system at Hereford, and we were excellent and should have won the game. Uh, we've got good players. We've got uh, you know real talent within our squad. We've got a tremendous work ethic, and we've got a, a great team spirit. And, and we'll go up there with a set out to, to to go and get a result. We're not a team who go for draws. We're not a team who who sets ourselves up to be negative. Um, I'll pick a team that we that we think will go there and be able to compete. 
like they do, be able to pass the ball like they do, be able to get into areas where we can we can hurt them. You know, I'm not going to say we're going to we're going to target this, we're going to target that. They're a good team, you know. They've got big, strong players. You know, they bought the lad Sharps from in from from Rotherham, who, who was you know brilliant up there last season. They've got Sadler, who was in the Championship last season. They've got you know, lots of quality. Um, the boy they took from from Bolton on, on the on the what on the wide areas is decent. Mark Wright scoring goals. The front two, whoever they play, are lively. We, we've we've got half. We're gonna have our hands full, but you know we're gonna give them a game as well. And from your point of view, the, the, the nice thing is you've got no injuries at all. I don't think. Um, Frankie's got a slight, a slight. Frankie's a slight doubt for Saturday, um, but it should only if 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 he's not available, it'll only be the weekend, and hopefully be back available next week. Apart from that, yeah, we're we're pretty clear. Um, it's, it's, it's decent. It's decent for me to to be to have, um, and you know, we've got once we've got games sticking fast now. Hopefully with the weather, hopefully clearing up. You did say a week ago that you were going to have a chat with the chairman about um, possibly extending the Jeffers and Shroop loans. Is there any, I, I any I haven't managed that? to. I haven't, I haven't really had a good chat with him yet. We, it'll, it'll happen next week. I'll have, a, I'll have a chat with him and uh, we'll see where we are. But we've got a couple of weeks and we'll just. You know, it'll all be, we'll be sorted well in time. We've just got to you know, make sure we, 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 things are, are sorted everywhere else. You know, we've just got to, it's, it's something I want to do. It's, I'll, just, I'll speak to the chairman I'll say next week. And if the hot weather does hold, you could play Saturday, Tuesday. Right? Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday is the yeah. is the aim. Yeah, you know, I've just I've been on to I've been to the I've been on to the, the ground staff this morning, making sure that you know we 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 want home we want we don't want to miss out. We want to catch up on the game that we got in hand. Um, we got a really tough one Saturday. Obviously, they've done well to hopefully get it on. We've got to do everything we can to get the the, the South End game on next Tuesday, and then hopefully. You know, although the weather is supposed to dip a little bit again in terms of the temperature, is we've you know just trying to emphasise that we've got to do whatever we can to 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 get the games on. And, and the club know that. You know, we don't we don't want to be behind in games, but we'd also you know it, it's it's cash flow revenue. We don't want I don't want that coming resurfacing and stuff. So you know we'll do what we can to to, to make sure the games are on. That, that, that the the people at the club know how important the next week is for the club and for the team. You know and. Uh, we just want to keep playing games and, and keep our our league form going. I think we're is it one in is it unbeaten in nine or something like that? Unbeaten six, seven, eight. I don't know what it is, but it's sure a bit more than that. But it's you know we, we, the lads are doing brilliant and, and we just want them to just to want to carry on. Yeah, you don't really want the, the fixtures ideally to be piling up too much in nope. the second half of the season, do you? So we can get nope. those rearranged games in there. Well. Exactly. But, you know, everyone's doing all they can. It, it is just a case of sometimes the, the weather beats you, sometimes the elements beat you, and you just got to just got to get on with it. But, like I say, if we can just stay ahead of the game and catch up, then touch wood, we'll, we'll, we'll be in a decent position. Yeah, you're firmly on course to get what the, the chairman's given you a bit of an incentive in January for, for a bit of, hopefully, a bit of loan budget. Do you think that... If you can keep the lads you've already got and add a couple just to give you a couple of yeah. extra options, that could be crucial second half. Uh, yeah, it's vital. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, we that, that, that's the aim. You know, it, it's uh, it's something that the lads have worked extremely hard to do. Um, and within that, if we can, if we're in a position to strengthen, then then brilliant. So we'll only do it if it's if it's right for for the squad, for the team, and for everybody concerned. You know, we, we won't bring in. in just willy nilly, and we won't be loads of them. We we'll just probably we'll, we'll just you know we we'll see what we've got. We know we've got one or two things that in the not in the pipeline, but what we'd like to do. Now we've had you know that that sort of that incentive put on us, but it, it's up to us to make sure we're up there and in and around it. And how much easier is it to attract a, t a lone player to, to a team in position we are at the moment compared to last I'll, year when you were? I'll, I'll tell you in January. I'll tell you in January. It, you know, it, it's it's still difficult to get the ones you the actual ones you want. You know, so. You know, we'll, like I said, we'll do everything we can. Um, we've got, you know, between George, myself, Neil, Wes, Bucky, we've got one or two people that we, you know, you, you think, well, they'd be good at the club, good at the club with what we've got. And, but it's still, it still, it still takes a bit of doing to get them there. The ones, you know, the ones you want. And we'll we'll do everything we can if we're in the right position and, and able to do so to to, to, to add things to complement the squad of players that we've we've already got who've already put this, this in this great position well, this such a decent position you know considering what people were probably expecting yeah do you remember your goal at Shrewsbury the old ground uh, nine years ago Shrewsbury obviously not no. <laughs> <laughs> was it obviously it was, a cracker it was the promotion season quite early on you had a bit of a bad start and I think you lost 2-1 there Luke Rogers got two 
as I recall. Yeah, Mog- Moggleton was in yeah, goal for Charlton when you, you got one that day. But was it, you scored three games was, in a row. Was it hard? Was it a frosty? No, that was a, probably another game. No, was, you, you scored a Swansea ahead. I think you scored. Yeah, they all scored in that in game, didn't they? Or something as well. Um, yeah, I think he might have done. Yeah, in a two all. Two all, yeah. And you got one at Shrewsbury. Did I? So uh, yeah, that's what. That's good. Good player, one time ago. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Mark. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Cheers. Cheers.